Hey, my mate. Um, okay, so you can see now um, the string's sort of starting to follow our body. So we swing on that circle like we originally wanted to. Um, and now we can sort of isolate where the timing or angle is letting us down. Okay, so we can see in the videos that when this kicks in here, okay, obviously that would affect our circle, which is kind of how you arrived where you were at. Yeah, so obviously when that kicks in, that affects the circle coming from the inside. And then obviously you just have to stall your body and then you have to roll the face. That's where those big drawers were coming from and toe hits, etc., etc. Um, just backtracking and refreshing. And you should be able to figure out how that would affect your low point as well. Okay, obviously I'm hit behind this golf ball, um, which is why I was never sort of worried about it in the, in the first place, right? So take those same sort of feels and ideas um, into the short game. Okay, so do some do some chipping or pitching for, for me. I think do it with the towel. Do it with the towel just outside the golf ball, nice and tight in there. Okay, be really, really narrow. Okay, with these sort of 20 and 30 meter shots. Okay, and then really focus on, yes, back of the ball, striking well, but really focus on, for these short shots, you shouldn't have to worry too much about your hip or your knee. Okay, focus on the right shoulder, not going not going this way and exposing the heel, okay, but the right shoulder maintaining that circle. Okay, so the right shoulder will maintain the circle. Obviously, it's driven by the sort of chest or torso rotating, but it can't rotate on this angle, otherwise you're going to either behind it or you're going to hit out the heel. Okay, so nice and close to the golf ball with these short shots, okay, and feel as you open your chest and shoulders that the right shoulder is working that way, not that way. Okay, and it should start to feel... Okay, you can see where the club is exiting, what we spoke about yesterday quickly, okay, and how that chest and shoulder is working. So not this, not that, that. Okay, because that is going to work in, I mean, we need to stay on top of that short game anyway, but that is going to work into controlling our low point and our strike uh, on the full swing as well. Okay, but obviously more moving parts and more leg work and more speed, but it's going to work into that same idea, right? Okay, so the difference, I guess, with chipping and pitching versus the full swing is the strike position, you way more open, particularly with the lower body, and obviously the speeds are different. Okay, so just separate it, but it's the same ideas, right? Okay, so now, full swing. Um, the second one we saw yesterday, obviously that path was a lot better. So we're going to watch this for the path. Okay, obviously that release, but also for the for the strike, not hitting behind it or missing the ground and hitting it thin. Okay, so what I want you to do, okay, two drills. Let's keep the towel there, especially for the first drill. First drill, you're not going to like. Okay, the first drill is too close to the ball drill. Okay, so you go normal stance, stand uncomfortably close. If you need to lift your hands a little bit, that's fine, but don't grip down the cup. That's a waste of time, right? So you stand uncomfortably close to the ball. Okay, try and swing on line, obviously not in. But now to create space, you're going to have to get that hip out of the way. So if your shoulders, oh, sorry, if the right knee and hip getting here, yeah, then it's going to be very difficult. It shanks and tops. Okay, so normal stance, too close to the ball. Obviously, slowly, 60% at first, and then you build it up. Okay, and you just try and clear, clear that hip. Okay, and hit some half decent shots. Okay, shouldn't be great shots because you're not meant to stand that close to the ball, but it's trying to teach you something. Okay, we're going to do a few of those. And then uh, the second drill, okay, is it's called a split stance drill. Okay, for you, I sometimes call it a left foot back drill, but for you, it's actually right foot forward drill. But basically, what we have to do here, we have to make sure here that we line up nicely. So we're not opening, we're not aiming left. Okay, so we're lining up very square, square hip, square shoulder, square club face, nice. Posture, okay, and then what we're doing, keeping everything square, we're just shuffling the foot in. Okay, quite a lot. Well, let's go club head for now. Okay, so if my foot's normally there. Okay, so my feet are not in line, but hips and shoulders are still in line. Okay, and what we're trying to learn to do from there is obviously not go this way. It's to clear the hip and learn how to get the right knee and the right hip to open up on the right angle, but sort of tuck behind the left, 
Okay, so we're learning this sort of move. Distance from the ball first. Okay, alignment's good. Posture's good. Shuffle the right foot in. Okay, we're trying to learn how to clear, but tuck this way. Okay. Okay, and you can hit some pretty good shots like that. Okay? And obviously we're trying to negate that move there. Promote hip rotation, but hip rotation on the correct angle. Okay, yes timing, but correct angle. Okay, so that's your second drill. All right, so do a few of those. Send me some videos to see, talk about how it feels. Okay, but basically what you're trying to do in your rehearsal is very close. Okay, it's very, very close. It's earlier rotation of the hip for the sequencing. Okay, it's different angle of rotation, so the strike position is different. Okay, and obviously the impact position is different. So that's where we want to get. That's about where you are. Okay, so... That's where we want to get. You can see how the low point's not going to be a problem. Okay. That's about where you are. Okay. And then when you're doing the full swings, we're going to look at those things, but we're also going to start to look at what we discussed yesterday. Okay. So lots to work on. Very similar stuff. Just maybe a little bit more in depth. That's obviously the new drill. Well, both drills are slightly new, I guess. Um, I did get you standing close to the ball anyway early on. This is now too close as a drill. Okay. And then the new right foot forward drill, okay, um, but start to understand and feel why we are doing them now, okay, thank you my mates, let me know if you need anything, um, oh and don't forget your short cam obviously, um, and I'll talk to you soon.